Welcome in to the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Proudly presented by Arkansas Tech University, D3 Auto Sales, and Metcalf Trucking and Trailer Repair. Today we sit down with the head coach of the Highland Rebels, Sterling Stowers. This Pigskin Preview is sponsored by First Community Bank. Welcome back into the Hometown Sports Arkansas Football Preview. And uh, we've got yet another coach with us here. This is uh, Sterling Stowers of the Highland Rebels. And uh, Coach, glad to have you here along with us. We got a chance to see Highland last year in uh, the Monticello game. It was a thrilling playoff game. 21-20 was the final score of that ball game. Um, very, very good, very competitive ball game. Uh, your team didn't come out on the, the right end of that one, but uh, that said, uh, you know, it's a new year, right? Absolutely, it's a new year, man. You know, last year we, we've talked all year about, you know, last play of the game, you know, we took a chance there. And, and when I got hired, that was one thing that I wanted to be out be about was was taking chances, and, and we did that. And unfortunately, we came up uh, about a yard short, uh, you know. But it is what it is. And so the kids have had a really good off season, a really good summer. Uh, they had a good first three weeks here uh, of school, um, and so they're they're eager to get going again. Well, you know, we can look back at last year, but <laughs> last year is last year. Let's look at the head now to what you guys have coming up. Uh, for this year. Tell us about some of the guys that you guys have returning for this season. Yeah, we had, uh, you know, before the, the fall this year, we have all 11 starters back on offense from last year. Now, we've had to make a couple changes. Uh, we had a two-time all-conference quarterback in Zach Huckabee. Um, we had to make a change, and, and uh, he's now at, at our outside receiver, and we are going with a sophomore named Austin Christie. Um, you know, he's he's obviously a sophomore, but uh, we feel like we, we need to do some more things in our offense. We've got to get a little bit of a pass game going. Um, we have an all-state running back back in, in Keegan Statler. Uh, he'll be a three-year starter for us. Um, you know, all of our offensive line is back. And, and we feel like our receiver depth is something that we haven't had in a while. We've got about seven or eight guys that, that we're rotating in and out right now, kind of depending on situations and stuff like that. But um, offensively, that's where we're at there. Uh, you know, we're a brace, base spread. Uh, and I know that's kind of a, a broad topic there, but – um, we know we like to throw it around a little bit. We try to run the ball a little bit. It's kind of, you know, what can we do each week uh, is what our base game plan will be. Um, defensively, we've got seven of our eight or seven of our 11 starters back. I'm sorry. Um, you know, in the in the return of both Keegan Statler, who is an all-state line, uh, linebacker as well. And then our all-state defensive tackle and Kalei Tokenong. Um, both of those guys have been with us you know, since seventh grade when they first got in the program. So. Uh, we got some. We have some some veterans, and we had, we added a good group of sophomores that went nine and zero in junior high last year. That they're going to help us out on defensively and offensively. But you know, those guys will probably help us out a little bit more on the defensive side. Um, you know, they could fill in those spots that we we lost um, four seniors last year that were a big part of our defense. And so we feel like those guys can step in and help us out on the defensive side of the ball. That's, I mean, that's a really good recipe for a successful season with the amount of starters that you do have coming back along with a, a good group of sophomores that's coming in. I mean, that's got to be exciting for you and, and the uh, town of, of uh, Hardy there. It, it's exciting for sure. You know, uh, we actually, we had our scrimmage last night at Salem. Um, you know, there there are some guys have them in the top 10. I know Hooten's got them in the top 10. Uh, I think the Gazette came out maybe on Tuesday and they've got them in the top five. You know, we went over and played a, a first half regular season and they were able to they scored with about 45 seconds left to go up 14 to six. And so, you know, the, Coach Watson does a good job with those guys. They're a really good physical football team. And, and it was a good test for us. You know, we've got we've added some new guys. You know, it's the first time we're being back together as a team against somebody else. You know, so we've after the first half, we obviously have all kinds of things that we need to fix and, and work on. But, you know, we didn't, I'm not going to say we played bad. Um, we could have played better. Um, you know, but I told our guys that if we're perfect right now, um, you know, I, that would kind of worry me. You know, we're not perfect yeah. right now. And that's that's the way we want to go because we're at the bottom and we want to just keep climbing the hill to get better. Yeah. You know, and we learned a lot from last night. We saw some things that we can do. We saw some things that we cannot do. Um, we got to see our, our new quarterback in Austin Christie. You know, what what can he do in a live setting? 
Um, you know, we we kind of I'm not going to say we limited what we did. You know, I, I think anytime you play, you need to do some stuff that you, that you're going to do. But we did kind of, you know, turn him free a little bit and see what he can do. So I think we saw some things that, you know, some positives, some things we need to work on. And and so, you know, using that last night, we're going to we're going to have a fix it Friday this afternoon and uh, moving forward. We're going to get ready for Piggott and and our guys are excited for uh, for the challenge next week. Yeah, next week, right? I mean, it's coming. It's coming it's here. quickly here. Yeah, it's, it's here, here for it's sure. Good test there that uh, you had against a, a really good Salem ball club, Salem program. I mean, they're they're there. You know, I think one loss last year happened to be in the playoffs. Right. So they're they're a very good program. So, you know, you've already talked a little bit about it. You could say your base spread. Um, talk about your defense a little bit and and kind of what you guys employ on defense. You know we're a base three four, um, you know, but I would I would also say that we're we're a multiple. You know I think defense you've got to be more uh, versatile. You can't just come out and, and line up in a three four against you know everything. You've got to make adjustments and modifications here, and what can I do there versus this? And you know so we we try to our, our game plan for the week. Our offense is going to be pretty simple. That way we can really harp on our defense. Uh, one thing that we we try to do defensively is uh, you know we're trying to be as fast and as physical as we can be in the box. You know, right now we feel like we're 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 pretty good up front. Um, you know, we obviously have some things to work on, and and we replaced an all conference linebacker last year and Gabe Hightower with a, a junior named Cole Boyer, and he's, um, you know, he's stepped up in the role and he he's taken on uh, every challenge that we've given him, and um, you know, so we're excited about seeing what those guys can do. Um, you know, like I said last night, we we just went we went right to it with Salem, and and for the most part, you know, defensively we were we were ple. I, you know, I know you kind of mixed feelings here. I know it was you know fourteen to six, and you can say you lost, you know, but it, you know it's a half of a football game, a, a scrimmage game at that. That you know, really, we like to use it as a you know it, it doesn't count. So you know, what do we have to do? What can we do to show us what we have, what we don't have, and so. For the most part, defensively, uh, you know, we're pretty satisfied. We had we had two busted coverages, which allowed them to, you know, they made big plays when when they needed to. And uh, secondary wise, you know, we we've got some newbies back there, some of those sophomores in the secondary, so they're still learning the rotation and and the pace of the game is a little bit different than junior high. You know, oh, yeah. um, you know, you're not you, junior high. You can win the game with with one or two dudes. You know, senior high, it's going to take a team effort. You know, so we, you know, we learned from that last night. Secondary wise, we're going to fix it today, but. Um, you know, we're just trying to be as fast and as physical as we can be and, and as simple as we can be. You guys, you've already touched on who you kind of have, uh, but let's talk about all-conference, all-state type of, of players that you might have for this year. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, we already, we, I've already mentioned I've, we've returned Keegan Statler. He's an all-state um, linebacker running back. And Kalei Tokenong, he's an all-state defensive tackle, and he'll also play a right tackle for us on the offensive line. Um all conference returners. We've got Zach Huckabee, who was our quarterback. Now he's our uh, he's one of our outside guys, and he'll also play safety. Um, we've got an outside linebacker, all conference guy from last year, Wyatt Jason. Uh, he's about 6'3", 205, 210. He's um, you know he's pretty physical down there on the D line. We return a all conference tight end and Wade Monroe. Uh, we return an all conference two all conference secondary guys, um, Ronnie Brewer and Bobby Cooper, and then our leading receiver was an all conference honorable mention. Um, type player last year for us uh, on the offensive side. He didn't play much defense, but you know we have all those guys back. We lost one all-conference guy to graduation, and so you know it, it is a new year. So you never know what you're going to get. You know you'd like to say that those guys are are those quality guys, but you know we we don't have a lot. We have we have 36 guys on our roster, but we feel like we're as deep as we've been in a long time. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, you know just dead weight. So we we've got a lot of guys that we think can play, and so you want to say that those guys are. Uh, all conference material, all state, hopefully. But you know, we could also add some new guys. You know, the new guys that, that I talk about. You know, Austin Christie. He's a he's an all conference caliber type guy. You know, once he gets in the system and starts learning it, he's just you know he's an athlete. Um, you know, we moved up uh, Jimmy Jensen, who we moved up as a freshman last year, the last three games of the year, and uh, he started as a freshman the last three games after they went nine and zero. Um, and you know, we just threw him right in the mix, and you couldn't tell a junior high versus senior high. You know, it was. Hey, this guy, this guy's special for us, and so you know he's that cal he's that type of caliber player. And there, there, there's many more that I can name, you know. But uh, but we feel like we have quite a few of those guys at the end of the year. You sound like you got a great recipe there. Talk about your conference a little bit. Uh, what you expect out of the conference this year? Well, I personally think the conference this year is going to be as tough as it's been the last few years. You know, um, 
We lost Rivercrest, who's always a powerhouse. You know, they've gone down to 3A. And I know, you know, some people say they lost a big group of seniors. Well, they're still going to be pretty good. You know, they're the Rivercrest and Norm. Um, but we picked up Bates from Southside, you know, who uh, Kenny Simpson down there, those guys do, they're well coached. They do a good job. So, you know, I know they had a good year last year in the 5A East. I don't, I don't, I don't know what they have coming back. I've, I've yet to see them. Um, you know, but I'm sure they'll be as competitive as ever. Um, we picked up Cape City for Harrisburg. And then you always have, you know, Gosnell's going to be athletic. Blyville's going to be athletic. Pocahontas can be well coached and athletic. You know, so Truman does a good job down there in what they do. Um, Coach Engel at Westside, you know, so it's, I don't think personally there's any week that you can say, well, you know, we should win this. Man, I mean, you're going to have to show up and play. You know, you're going to have to have the best scheme and, you you know, your guys are going to have to show up and execute. Talk about your schedule. Who do you have non-conference um, and, and what does your schedule kind of shape up like this year? We're uh, Next week, uh, week zero, we're going to go to Piggott. Um, you know, I don't know much about them. We, we, we've got the scrimmage film and we're going to break that down this afternoon. Um, I know they got two new, uh, they got a new head coach and a couple of other coordinators. So, uh, be interested to see how that goes. And then uh, the, the week one, we're going to go to Mountain Grove, Missouri, who uh, they're going to run the Harding University true triple option. You know, so that'll be uh, an, an interesting week there in itself as far as the, the scheme for that week. So, you know, we're kind of looking forward to that. And then week two, Riverview at a Cersei comes up here uh, for our first home game of the year. And then we'll have a bye week three. And then conference, man, we just – we go right at it. Gosnell comes up here week one at conference, and those guys, are you know, they're going to be good at what they do. Um, you know, last year they were they were probably the I'd say right there them and Blah were you know most athletic teams in the league. They had uh, Cam Williams who ended up going to Missouri State. So those guys will be you know we were able to pull out a, a one point win last year and uh, Coach Arnes does a good job with those guys. You know, so I'm sure they'll be eager to get up here and and, and try to get that one back. Uh, then we go to Truman. You know, second week of the of the conference and then Blyville comes up here to the hills. Then we go to Batesville Southside. And then we uh, we have Cave City at home for homecoming. You know that's that's a, we're both in the same county. One's in the north, one's in the south. So that'll be the Sharp County Showdown that week. Uh, then we go to Jonesboro West Side and and to finish the year week ten. Hopefully, um, you know Pocahontas comes up here on Thursday night. You know traditionally that's old school rivalry right there. And, uh, Coach Chester does a really really good job with those guys, and uh, it's probably the oldest rivalry in our league. But my staff and and Coach Chester's staff we're probably closer than anybody else that we know. You know, those guys are some of the best guys around, but we know that when it's time to play, I mean, you know, we're not friends. There's one week of the year where we're not friends and we don't communicate over there or anything like that. So yeah. it's always fun with those guys. But like I said, it week in, week out, we know we're going to have to show up and play. All right, final question here. It will be a successful season at Highland if. Oh, well, I mean, you know, all, yeah, people talk about wins and losses and, you know, you want you want to – Ultimately, what I've learned in the last two years is, you know, if we can make an impact on on the kids that we have, you know, and, and let them know that we do care and love them. You know, we, you know, um, you know, sometimes you need some tough love. Sometimes you need, you know, easy love, love, you know, but to be a successful season, I think as long as we improve each week, you know, get better, learn from our mistakes and, and keep climbing the mountain, as we talk about, um, I, I think that'll be a successful year. And I think at the end of the season, you know, when it does come to wins and losses, we'll be able to see that. All right. Well, I think that covers it. Coach, thank you for joining us here on the uh, Hometown Sports Arkansas Football Preview. And, uh, if you like this content, you can watch all kinds of content from across the state of Arkansas right here on our Facebook and YouTube. Coach, once again, thank you for joining us. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you this year. Thank you, guys. You guys do a great job. All right. Thank you. Thanks again for joining us on the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Arkansas Sports Network on YouTube to catch more previews and all the latest updates on your favorite teams.